Hello, lovely people. Mort Saal, who was one of the pioneers of political and social satire, once said, my life needs editing. This is a brilliant concept for us to latch on to in terms of creating the life that we really want for ourselves. I have here my personal editing tools as a communications person, red pen and glasses, because when you go through an editing process, we can see our lives as this process. You start with a page which is full of writing. It's full of copy. And you take the red pen to it and you pull out, you scan the page. Because remember, if you're looking at a page of copy, you're not really reading it. You scan it and you pull out the, the key messages, the gold, the most important bits, the pieces that you're interested in, the words, the meanings that, that you are drawn to. And this is the process that you go through as the editor of your life. You can do this regularly. You could have a big spring clean, up to you. Understand that the reason this is so important is because everything in our world, including us, including our lives, is energy. And therefore, looking at our life as an energetic equation, we need to create a gap for more of that, we could call it positive energy, so the things that we want, the things that we desire, whatever those are. In order to bring more of those in, we need to create space for them. Because at the moment, if you think of your life as words on a page, the page is full. It's full of words. However, in terms of your real priorities, not what you think you should have in your life, but what you really want and desire in your life. It may only be 10 words on that page. In order to create some blanks on that page for them to be filled with more of those words symbolizing the things that you want, you must get the red pen out and just sweep away. So the processes that you, first of all, scan the page. That is your life right now. Genuinely look at it, feel into it, be very honest with yourself. Brutal honesty is required. Trust me, when you're editing a page of copy with that red pen, you've got to be brutal because I always say people don't read. We don't, we scan, we go for the essential meaning, we look at an image. That's how we operate and that's how you need to operate when you take an honest view of your life as it is right now. Honestly acknowledge to yourself what are the words on the page, in a manner of speaking, that you want to focus on, that you want to bring your energy to. Then you can put the line, metaphorically speaking, with your red pen through all the other things on that page. Now, a really important point to know is that in putting that line through the things that you want to move away from, that you don't want your energy going into. For example, worrying about the future, worrying about having enough money, worrying about people, just worry in general. If a lot of your energy is going into worry, that is doing two things. It's bringing you get what you focus on. So it's bringing more of that, those things, those fears into your existence. But it's also starving of oxygen, the 
areas that you really want, the things that you really desire. And just like you would prune a plant in order for it to blossom and grow and to give more energy to the plant for the new growth to come, so you are doing with your life and your energy and where your energy is going. Because where your energy flows, grows. So you've, cut, you've put the line, the red line, through all these things. You then put your focus onto the areas that you've circled, that you've highlighted, that you've identified as being what you want more of, what you're creating, creating space for. So you've pruned back and now you're like, okay, I want to see these aspects of me, of my life. I want to see them blossom and grow. Understand that the pieces that you have put the red line through will naturally now start to fall away. You don't actually have to do consciously anything more to them. Because they are now being starved of oxygen, you could say, or your energy is going more into the other things, they will they will naturally fall away. And I always say that, you know, you change the energy and the physical changes. And that's what you'll start to see in your, in your existence. Whatever those things were or are, they will just naturally take care of themselves. You actually don't have to do anything except perhaps make a couple of choices if they come your way. So it could be a person or it could be anything it is. And when there's an option presented where it's going to sort of move away, say, for example, you're in a job that you don't really like and you get an opportunity to change that job, take take the opportunity, let the other job fall away. So you're now focusing on the parts of the page, your life, that you want, dream and desire more of. What you're doing is you are allowing the universe to fill the gap. So you've left this really big space and have the absolute faith and certainty that because everything is energy, our whole existence is an energetic vibration or calculation or scientific scenario, that the space that you've left must be filled. It must be filled because energy will always seek to balance. It will always go where there is a space or a vacuum. And so by having your intention or your focus or your energy on the things that you want, that is where that's the energy, if you like, if you think of all those different things that you want as being pieces of energy, they are what are going to expand into the space that you have left. And it is really that simple and that fundamental. Thank you.